Hi, my name is Chris, and welcome to the Film Lounge, a web series that explores the basic codes and conventions of film and animation. In the last two episodes, we focused on the use of camera work to help tell our stories. However, in this episode, we look at the power of editing. Editing is one of the most important parts of any film. The purpose of editing is to assemble the shots in a coherent sequence. It cuts different footage together to help tell a story. Editing can help focus the viewer's point of view, or, most importantly, compress time within the story. The easiest way to compress time in a film is through a montage. Uh-oh. Hey, Benny, come here. Let me spot this crazy fool. Montages are an editing technique where footage is cut together in a fast-paced fashion that compresses time and conveys a lot of information in a relatively short period of time. Some of the most famous montages in movies are the training montage. Produced for decades but then perfected by the Rocky series, these montages often show people's physical skills progressing within a short period of time. Admittedly though, the training montage is predominantly a masculine sequence when shown in movies. However, if you're interested in seeing female-led training montages, I couldn't recommend more movies like Girl Fight, starring The Fast and Furious' Michelle Rodriguez in her first ever acting role, or Million Dollar Baby, starring two-time Oscar winner Hilary Swank and directed by Clint Eastwood. So today we are going to look at the training montage from Rocky 3. The Rocky series began in 1976 and spawned five sequels. Six if you include 2015 spin-off movie Creed. The film series is about a down-on-his-luck boxer, Rocky Balboa, who was given a wild card chance to fight the world heavyweight champion, Apollo Creed. The original film was written by, at the time, amateur actor and former bouncer Sylvester Stallone, who refused to sell the in-demand film script unless he could play the title role. After many, many rejections, he was finally given a shot, and not only was a new iconic character for cinema born, but Rocky went on to win several Academy Awards. Now, many of the sequels were written and directed by Stallone, including today's example, Rocky III. In this film, Rocky is living the high life as the world heavyweight champion. However, this all comes unstuck when he's defeated by an intense and hungry boxer played by Mr. T. Feeling defeated and losing his former trainer, Mickey, to a heart attack, Rocky begins training with his former rival and now close friend, Apollo Creed. Now, although these films are enjoyable, the Rocky series became very repetitive after a while. Rocky feels doubt, doesn't train very well, has a heart-to-heart talk with his loving and supporting wife, Adrian, and then gets back into training and trains better than ever to win the day. So let's look at the Rocky III montage.
No. As we can see in this montage, it is made up of a variety of different locations, different actions, and different shots. This is a key factor to any good montage sequence. To keep the audience engaged and interested, you need to give them a variety of things to look at. But this montage, like many others, does more than that. These shots are bridged together with music to create a theme and to get the blood pumping as you go along the journey with Rocky. The montage also shows progress within the story of the montage. This is shown through Rocky getting faster, Rocky getting stronger, Rocky just beating his personal best times. This is important, otherwise what's the point of just watching someone exercise in a movie if no progress is being made? The montage also employs other good editing techniques such as cutting together different shots in time with the music or slowing down the footage in order to highlight the strain and the importance of the scene as Rocky tries to outrun Apollo Creed. Just quickly, does it look like Rocky's about to have a stroke in this scene? It really looks like he's about to have a stroke. So, to highlight the important things about this montage, Stallone has cut together a variety of shots in a variety of locations doing a variety of actions. He has often cut these shots together in time with music, which is being used to bridge the footage together and serve as a theme. And to highlight the importance of certain scenes, he has employed slow motion for emphasis. So, for this week's lesson, your group shall produce their own montage. This can be in the form of a training montage or a study montage. There are many great examples of serious training montages such as Batman Begins, the Rocky movies, and the Karate Kid. Or you can look at more humorous examples of training montages such as Run Fat Boy Run or Team America. There are also great examples of study montages such as the Rodney Dangerfield classic Back to School, Adam Sandler's Billy Madison, or Reese Witherspoon's Legally Blonde. The story in your training or study montage can be about anything you want, however you will be marked on the following. Providing a range of different shots in a range of different locations, showing progress for the character within the narrative, bridging footage together with music, and using at least one slow motion shot during the montage. Remember that you can recreate your own version of an existing movie that features a montage or produce your own original sequence. Don't forget that teamwork and communication are the key to a successful film and I look forward to seeing what you create. This is Mr. Gooch for the Film Lounge, signing off.